So for this dissection, um, definitely gonna need your goggles. Again, this comes out of the paper. Like I basically just cut it out with a scissor. And it's okay if you dig into the tissue a little bit, use the blunt end of the scissor to cut this out of the plastic. It's pretty tight to be wound up there. Now I cut off this connective tissue. So it has a lot of fatty tissue in the socket of the eye, in the cow, in the human. Um, but basically you wanna see the back of the eye, you wanna see that optic nerve, okay? So take a look at that. Feel it with your hands, feel that nerve tissue is different than the connective tissue. So this is a good chance for you finally to feel the difference in tissue. Now there is some muscle tissue around the eye. You learn the, the muscles of the eye, the rectus muscles and the oblique muscles that move each eye in conjunction to each other. So that's muscle tissue. Now the outside of the eye is, especially, well, here's the, the cornea. So that's, connective tissue membrane, and it's diffusible actually. But the sclera is the fibrous outer layer of the eye. And that's all of this, sclera, very tough tissue. So that's more connective tissue. So feel the nerve tissue here in the back is your optic nerve, right here. I took off some adipose tissue as you can see here, it's very soft, kind of gelatinous. And that's also connective tissue. So it insulates the back of the eye socket. This, the optic nerve is cranial nerve two, a right? special sensory, which is coming from the retina, which you'll see, and going back to the optic chiasm, then starts the optic tract with the projection fibers going to the visual cortex of the occipital lobe of the cerebrum. So this is important that you see, this is one of the things you wanna label. And this will be on the practical. This will be one of the questions, optic nerve for sure. Okay, so cut that, that material away carefully. I mean, you don't wanna pierce it. Now, the anterior chamber of the eye, now this is the cornea, is the outer level layer right here. It, it's transparent, but this is a dead eye, of course, on the cow. So it looks opaque, but normally this is transparent. So this is also part of the fibrous layer. The fibrous layer includes the sclera and the cornea. Cornea is anterior. Behind the cornea is the anterior chamber, which contains a fluid called aqueous humor. Humor, like H-U-M-O-R, is another name for body fluids. So there's an aqueous humor in front of the lens, behind the cornea, and behind the lens, you have what's called vitreous humor, which is viscous and gelatinous like, which you'll see when you cut into the eyeball itself. So again, optic nerve, you have your sclera and all the connective tissue and muscle tissue. Your cornea is anterior and that is fibrous layer. So that's basically all you can see from the outside. So put on your goggles if you're ready to do this. And you're gonna, we're gonna make a cut through, and be careful you don't squeeze the cornea on this one, or squeeze the eyeball, because this will squirt. So once you get in there, you could make a cut. Dr. Fizio? Yes. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Um, sorry, I'm a little bit behind you. How did you get this thing out of the casing? Very carefully. Okay. Very good. But but it's okay. You, if you destroy some of the tissue on the outside, it's okay. Okay. Out of the plastic. Just be careful you don't get it all over yourself. Like there's a, a drape <laughs> you could wear. I, I'm just wearing old clothes and I, I put the drape that Carolina gave me. I put that under my laptop and under all this. I literally live in sweatpants, so it's cool. Good, good, good. It's fine. It's going to be great. So make a cut around that cornea. And then you open it up and you can see, again, be careful you don't squeeze this because it'll, it'll get all over your nice sweatpants and everything. <laughs> so here you can see the lens. Let's see if I can hold this without dropping it. 
you can see the lens, which is a crystalline protein. Now this is organic material, but this is a dead cow, right? So it's hard, like a marble. So, but it's supposed to refract light, right? To go to the retina, light coming in from the pupil. So it has a different shape. Like this is basically shaped like a football, which is convex or biconvex, mostly for close vision. I guess cows don't really need to see so far away, right? Unless they're under sympathetic stimulation, like you're driving by them in the street. So you can take the lens out and feel it. Again, this is dead tissue, so it's kind of hard, like a marble. But it's shaped like a football, biconvex. So if it was going to, to look further to see like a distant object, then the, the lens becomes more biconcave. It's kind of slippery, so be careful. I'm sorry. I'm I'm behind and I don't I didn't mean that's to okay. That's okay. back and just like just really quickly show how you got to where you are because I struggled a little bit more than I no thought. problem. What I did was I you know, gotta be really careful on this one. Okay. Sarah, sorry. You have to kind of don't squeeze the eyeball. But don't squeeze it. Okay. Poke, right next to the cornea. Poke in there and cut around it as best you can. Okay, even though my cornea is kind of like not totally round. Yeah, it's kind of oblong, but it kind of straightens out once you cover it. You cut it, sorry. I see. Okay, so you cut, oh my gosh. Sorry, it's, I, this it's is fine. It's okay, I'll stay with you later and do this. Okay, cool, because I, I want to get this right. No problem, take your time. Don't don't try to do it I too fast. I will down the rest of the class. I saw, sorry, guys. Watch the demo first if you want. I'll go back with you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now looking at the back of the anterior chamber, and this hole in the middle here, if you could see that, is the pupil. And this black area is the iris. And the iris, in our eyes, is the colored part, right? So it'll constrict the pupil, make it smaller, especially under parasympathetic stimulation. So the pupil is the hole. So the light comes in through the cornea, the front, goes through the pupil, then the lens, and then refracts light back onto the retina. And the retina is the neural layer, right? The outer layer is called the fibrous tunic or fibrous layer, which is connective tissue and membranes like the sclera, the hard part, the cornea, the transparent part. And the iris is part of a layer called the choroid layer. And we'll see those layers deeper when we cut the eyeball. So look at the fluid here. Now be careful. You know, you don't want to spill this all over your nice clothes. This is why I'm wearing goggles too, even me, just in case. And you should be able to get the vitreous humor here. If you squeeze this a little bit, it's really blobby looking material. See that? Even makes a nice sound. That's pretty gross. Nurse Larocco, you see that? Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to like. It's kind of gross. Figure out how you got that. Yeah, no problem. You we got into it together. the uh, pupil to do that. Uh, no, I didn't go into. That. I just I cut you the pupil here, so yeah. I'm actually behind. Oh pupil. yeah. Oh, yeah. So you put your finger. No, no, look. Now you definitely. This is the first time, second time you're able to actually feel <laughs> things. So, you know, you want to get all that tissue you, le you learned. You kind of want to get acquainted with now. It's kind of tough though. So what is the thing that I'm feeling behind all that? Oh man, the, the sclera is really tough. That's going to be the second hard part, Sarah. When we cut through the sclera, so that I is, that's really tough. I can't get the stinking gray thing to come out. So <laughs> <laughs> no and, and usually, usually don't forget, we're in lab for like two hours doing this. And now we're just doing this with a 40 minute Zoom hamstring here. So yeah, yeah this is hang out start. with me. Don't worry, I'll stay okay. with you. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this. And this is not easy. This is another hard part. So my hands are all slimy now from the, from the vitreous humor. But this is really hard to cut. In fact, I may even use a scalpel if I have to. And don't cut your gloves because that's really gross. This part, you're gonna have to wait, Sarah. Don't try to uh, do this too quickly. 
because this could take a lot of time. Where did you start cutting from there? From that opening, like from the front right here. Let me see if I can scalpel this. Be careful if you do this. You don't want to um, always cut away from your fingers, you know, which I shouldn't have to tell you that, but just in case. So now let me get rid of this. We don't need this anymore. Let me make a little more of a cut. Trying to keep this as intact as possible, but it's not easy. These scissors aren't the sharpest that came with your set. Yeah, I haven't been able to. Yeah. Not really the sharpest, but I want to use everything that you guys are using. So here you go. Now we're inside the eye, and the innermost layer. I kind of messed it up a little bit, but it's not hard to do because this is the retina and that kind of lines this whole cavity. So the innermost layer is your neural layer. So this is your nerve tissue. This is where your rods and cones are, which are photoreceptors, right? That's really important. So the retina is not really con connected to anything. So the vitreous humor holds it in place. So this is why it's so important that the posterior chamber of the eye has a proper pressure, like 16 millimeters of mercury, whatever it has to be, to hold that retina in place or else it's gonna detach, right? A condition called glaucoma is excess pressure in the posterior chamber and the anterior chamber too. So the retina is very delicate, these photoreceptors. So let me go back to the optic nerve, which is there's the optic nerve now, straight back. I cut right through it. So here's the optic nerve here. So as the optic nerve goes into the eye or comes out of the eye, I should say, there's a spot on your retina right here. And that retina is the blind spot. So where the optic nerve exits the eyeball, there are no photoreceptors. And that's why that particular area is called the blind spot. So of course our brain overcomes that. Now there's a pretty cool exercise in your lab learning modules where you could find that blind spot by using the X and the O and you cover your left eye and you focus. So try that, let me know how you make out. It's, it's not that easy to do. You have to just pay attention to what you're doing and you can see where that blind spot is in both eyes. But your brain works it all out where you never really notice a blind spot. So you don't have to be worried about missing a stop sign or something like that. So again, the innermost layer, which is gone now, it's gone, it's a very, um, there's a piece of it here, is your retina. Now, the middle layer is called choroid. And, and as you're doing your special senses, you'll learn uh, the iris is part of the choroid layer. The ciliary bodies are part of the choroid layer. The ciliary bodies or ciliary muscles are attached to the, the iris. Then you have the, um, this other, this, now this is really cool in the um, sheep eye, but it's very vascular. The choroid la uh, layer is a vascular layer, like the fibrous outer layer is, is connective tissue, fibrous. The middle layer is choroid, which is vascular, blood supply. And the inner layer is your retina, which is nerve tissue, neural, the photoreceptors, optic nerve. So this is kind of cool in some of these mammals. They have this like turquoise-ish, is that a word? Can I say that, Sarah? Turquoise-ish? Turquoise-looking. You're teaching me how to dissect a cow eye. You can use any word you want. You got it, kid. <laughs> so this is really good for these mammals because they can see better at night, the way they re retract the light, refract the light, and harness the light better. So a sheep and a cow see much better than we do at night, and other mammals do. So this is called the tapetum lucidum, this turquoise area. And over here, it's just called choroid. The black part is just called choroid, which we have. So that's a vascular layer. It has pigmentation. There is melanocytes in there as well, which you may read about um, when you're doing your special senses. 
So basically, that's it. Let's go through it again slowly for, for you guys who um, feel like you're behind. But you could take your time with this. I'm glad you're trying to do it with me, though. So what I did was, I first of all, I had to cut it out of this really tight sealed bag. So I used the scissor, which I found out wasn't so sharp, but do your best. Then I cut off the connective tissue, like the um, fat, some muscle and other fibrous connective tissue. Here's a muscle here. And then I cut around the cornea to expose the, I don't know what happened to my iris, it's gone. But I saw the iris and I saw the lens, the biconcave lens. That's where I'm at. This oh, part. Cool. So oh, Sarah, just be careful you don't squeeze that into your face and keep your mouth closed when you do it. Wait, okay, but I got the little lens part off. But cool. then what do you do next? Well, look inside, make sure you see the vitreous humor and squeeze it out. Mine's all kind of gone here. There's a little bit here. Out, like the little. Yeah, you can squeeze it out. If you, now you can squeeze downward. So that little, like the pebble thing, I think you said was the lens. Would ours feel the same way? It should. But are we oh, trying no. a rock? No, this is a dead one. This is a dead one. So ours feels very soft and oh, pliable. Okay. Good question. Oh, I got it. Yeah. I got it. Okay, there's a pebble. Because okay. that's, that's it, you know, in our eyes, it's organic material. It's protein. It's a crystalline protein. Yeah, that makes sense. So what's the pebble? That's your lens. That's the lens. Cool. Yeah, like if I have a cat, like this is probably what a cataract looks like, which is an opacity in the lens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My husband. eye doctor goes in there, he cuts that sucker out with a laser, throws in a new lens. Cool. You know, so these ophthalmology, that's a great profession to go into right now. Oh God, no. Because no. nobody's cutting with a scissor anymore. They're all using lasers. That's true. That's treating true. glaucoma, you know, it's a lot uh, it's a lot less invasive as it was. Can I take my goggles off now? <laughs> Keep um, your goggles on. Yeah, so, okay, so once we take the lens out. Now then... here's the hard part. Here's the part where you could, you could try your scissor, but to be honest with you, I had a hard time. I, I cut around. That sclera is so hard that I had to use my scalpel. Scalpel is very sharp. Okay. So you could use that, but just be careful, please. Cut away from your fingers. Take your time though. Don't, don't try to do it too quick. And is there a certain way you're supposed to cut it? Like, like this. Like, so you know how I did it? Where's the optic nerve? I wanted to keep the optic nerve because this came out really good. I wanted to be able to show you this. So I kept the optic nerve intact. So I cut it just adjacent to the optic nerve, like through here. I don't, I guess I don't know where the optic nerve, oh, I see it. Is yeah, that, that's it? an important one to find, Sarah. See if you can find that. Is, is it this guy? Is it kind of on the end? It's right, but it's like directly behind the- Yep, I see it. Yep, the cornea, yep. Like, what you can do uh, is look at the cornea and then go to the back. Yep. Nope. Okay. I see that. Got it. And like Is I said before, this guy here, optic nerve. Yeah. Yeah, I okay. think so. Okay. I think so. And then you cut. And how did you cut it? I started like this, Sarah. I, I went in from the cornea area. Uh -huh. Cut like this. But I found it hard at the end, so then Got I it. took my scalpel and cut the rest of it. And did you cut it so that the optic nerve was like on one side or the other? Yeah, or? I kind of did that pretty good. Actually, that came out really good. I'm oh, happy wow. with this one. We should screenshot this because that's a really good cut. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, got it. All right, yeah, these scissors suck. Yeah, they're not good. I'm having all right, all right. You, you could write the letter to Carolina Biological. I'm just <laughs> impressed. Oh, with trust this me, thing I will. But otherwise, yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good, yeah, so. The scalpel works fine. Scalpel is fantastic. And the specimen is pretty good too. Is it? I have nothing to compare it to. Yeah, and it's pretty good. Usually, usually they come like this. They sit around for years. Oh, here's my iris. I found it. Hey, Professor, in the back of the eye, what's that kind of like gritty brown stuff? You mean on the external surface? Yeah, like once you cut through the, the uh, fat almost, it almost looks like sand, like brown sand. That could be degenerated muscles. Oh, true. 
Yeah, I don't see exactly what you're talking about, but I see good muscles. Like you could, here's like another, this is a great dissection right here. Because you could see the muscles aligning in there. That, and now, again, you, 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 this is the first time you're doing something in lab this semester for anatomy. But you could see the difference in colors of the tissue. Like the muscle has the mitochondria, right? The muscles have actin and myosin. So you can see the redness. Yeah, right? like in between where you're at, there's like little brown chunk yeah I, i'm not really sure i mean Weird. that could just be some degenerated um connective tissue oh, That's no. a good question. oh crap uh, afraid muscles or degen something that came out in the dissection yeah Weird. uh professor yes um the black thing i see is that the iris the whole thing no, this in here you mean, Sana? Yeah. No, that's the choroid, because I'm looking inside. The iris came off the, this is the iris right here. Was that in the front or? That was you... in the front, yeah. Like, you, let me show you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got it. Like, here's the front of the eye, the cornea. Just behind that, okay. And just behind that is the iris, allowing oh. the light to come in from the cornea. Okay, cool. And it's the retina. And then yeah. the lens was on top of that. So okay, it's a good enough. practice too to, to put all the stuff together because usually the models in lab are like this. It's just really slimy right now. Yeah. And that's the way it looks from slimy. This is the posterior view through the anterior chamber. Yeah. So um, you take I away the lens, then you have the iris and pupil. Right. Pupil is just an opening. And then the cornea as the oh. light comes in. Okay. And the retina is gone here, but the retina is a thin layer, neural layer on the inner part. And then the choroid layer is the black in here is choroid. And in the sheep and cow, you have this turquoise coloring tapetum lucidum. Okay. So my tapetum lucidum came out, I think, when I took the iris out. Yeah. Is that both normal? sides? Yeah. Oh, bummer. I know. That's a cool part. But you can still I, see the I color, right, Sarah? Huh? You see the, the. I think when I pulled on it, it just like. It. You mean your retina, not the iris? When you pulled the retina out. No, the I the the little black circle oh. that went around the okay. lens, I guess. Okay. Um, it kind of was attached to the. This really pretty turquoise turquoise piece. It's really pretty. I agree. Um, One other so part I forgot to mention: uh, in around the iris, there's actually fibers of retina, and that's called the aura serrata. Uh -huh. That's just one other structure. And again, this um, these are the things we have in lab all the time. Yep, I've got that. Um, it's a great review. I didn't look at the um, the videos yet, to be honest with you, but I'm sure they're really good that are on um, Blackboard. Huh. Cool. So how are we doing, everyone? Everybody okay? Yeah, actually, shockingly. So that's basically the demonstration. So if you need help, I'll hang around. Good luck, everybody at home.